Well, I was in checkmate since two hours. So guys, it's 2 a.m. and uh, we are Lord of Bars, Miran and Kalin, and we are recording the 20, the number 20. Yeah, Why is that really? The podcast number 20 of the series Road to Success. The time it's actually flying with this series because we're actually yeah. enjoying a lot. Today it's going to be a difficult one because uh, we're actually tired and we come back from a lot of hours of work. Really and, a lot uh, of hours of work. And it's 2 a.m. as we say, 2 and a half, yeah. something like that. But normal no, normal business for us, I guess. Exactly. Okay. Till we can sleep 20 minutes, it's okay. It's so, okay for us. Miguel so is going to introduce the argument of today. So today I wanted to talk about uh, something that came into my mind. And it's the hard work and uh, if it really pays off. Mm -hmm. If you really need to do it just for your ego or if you do it... Uh, without any consequence and stuff. Because I was thinking about a lot of people that are truly hard working into their job and stuff, but at the end, they don't gain anything. They don't even gain the respect. They lose it, the respect. Analyze the people around you and ask yourself uh, in a scale one to 10, how much this X person that you are, are analyzing is a good worker and hard worker and analyze how much this person actually had in his life. What the, the only thing that I can relate 100% it said my mother is a, a really hard worker she worked for the whole life and i can i'm sure 100 that at the moment she have nothing she doesn't have a house she doesn't have a family anymore she doesn't have a, a place to stay she doesn't have any money to the bank and she worked for 40 years straight always gaining promotion 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 with a nice let's say paycheck from the work in italy but still she have nothing in life so it's actually worth it to sacrifice your own life or make someone else rich? And I think the answer is obviously no. And uh, here I want to make a difference uh, between hard working and smart working. Mm -hmm. What I mean uh, by hard working, I mean what ju you just say, sacrificing your life just to work for the sake of someone else. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, smart working is when you actually know why are you working maybe so much and you know where your, what your goal is? Mm -hmm. So I, I can say on my point of view, a lot of people say that I'm really a true hard worker. I can work for a lot of hours. I don't complain about anything. I help everybody. But sometimes I end up in the middle of the night and I think like, if this is actually helping me to get uh, what I want. Mm -hmm. It is and actually helping you? question yes it's actually helping me How? because i'm asking myself this question and because every time i try to get better and to try to uh, get better this smart work mm -hmm. and by that what i mean i oh i worked my whole life let's say or half of my life uh, even when i was younger with my dad in the in the building side i work in uh, a bar then i work in a restaurant uh, then i worked uh, in a um, engineer uh, office mm -hmm. then i work again in another restaurant now i'm working i'm still working in another one and i really work a lot i can say work a lot mm -hmm. i try to learn uh, new stuff i try to get my uh, my the skill that i have i try to bring it another level like every time if i learn how to do espresso then i learn how to do cappuccino mm -hmm. after i learn how to do cappuccino i want to make better the cream then i want to do better the, you know, the drawing and to the increase stuff. your skills exactly. and everything you do also if it's not your dream exactly why because i'm doing it so why not bring it to the to the best level you know and you have to do it anyway so yeah. but uh, the more i go on the more i realize that i don't have to waste time on those things and mm -hmm. by wasting time, I mean by focusing it too much mm -hmm. and actually thinking what my goal is and what I have to do in order to reach it. So if at the moment I need to get, to get let's say, more money, I will work uh, more time because I need more money. But if there is a way to get more money and work less, that I will should, I that's will what it. should I do. Otherwise, I'm just, uh, uh, even if it's a place that I don't like, I think, mm -hmm. I should do that thing. At the moment. That's so what, this is what you need. Yeah, that's what progress. smart working is. Because for reaching my goal, no matter what, I will do something that will help me to get it. Mm -hmm. And yeah, this is this is what I think. And uh, but I still can do it. 
let's say, because I really, I really get emotionally attached to the place uh, where I work. Mm -hmm. uh, if the people are good and I like them, I'm like, I feel sorry for them if I leave them alone, those stuff. I don't care, for example, about this. I used to be like this, but then I quit my first job and then my second one. The moment that I quit my second job, I actually realized that uh, you're just a number. Every time that you work in a place, also if you're fundamental, you're just a number because after you will leave, maybe they will uh, lose a lot of money, I don't care, but they're gonna find someone else because uh, no one is fundamental, you know? And uh, you need to work for yourself and smart, of course. You have to do what you have to do to reach your goals, as Miran said. Yeah. And uh, if you, for this, you need to work on someone else if you have to jump ahead and maybe take some more money because you need it. It's because maybe you are more more hungry and you actually deserve this money more. Because if there is someone in a place that works there since two years, you will go there and after six months you are better than him. That means that you were more motivated and pushed to actually do it. So then if you jump ahead, it's not your fault, it's fault from this person. This person is actually sleeping. Because in my opinion, in six months you have to be the best where you are. At least if yeah. you are the only player. You must be the best. Yeah. And I think that you can use this skill as a side skill to actually improve everything in your life because all the knowledge that you have one day are gonna be useful in some ways. Yeah, that's also what I think. That's but not religion at school, it's not one of these. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's um, why I like to learn new skills, whatever it is. So I can say that I can do that, I can do this, I have the knowledge to talk about that, I, I can say whatever I want. But um, I wanted to say also that um, Really, really, guys, focus uh, more on your goal and on, on the goal, of, on the goal. On, not on the goal of the other people. I think it might be maybe help uh, uh, being this kind of guy for your goal, but you have to think about it. You don't just have to uh, think that I just have to hard work. You have to really smart work and every time ask for something. You will never 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 receive something by other people Without by asking. not asking it exactly you must uh, ask because let's say my uh, last chef not my last chef but uh, the last place uh, that uh, where i worked i was really good in uh, everything really but really good in everything i learned more stuff than other people that working there for 30 years or mm -hmm. something like that I learned uh, the languages, I learned all the wine stuff, uh, I know how to do the cafeteria stuff, I know how to do the service, uh, I know the, all the plate. But still though, I never asked for a raise, I never asked for a better position, I never asked for so those things, but I always thought like, they will see one day. They will, see the, they will give me a, a reward or something like that, but it's not like that actually, because uh, they are getting so much money from me. Exactly. I'm doing all the hard work and all the bad shift, the shit for them. And I'm, it's just one person and they are paying me less. Why should they give me more money if... Uh, it's still going, you know. It's still going. Why should I give you more money for free? No. If I would have asked, probably they would have given me a raise or something like that. You need to put like people that. in a position that they cannot see. No? Exactly. That's in the right like moment. Like Kali said, you have to put people in a position that they, they can't say no. So you have to really be sure of your skills, of yes. your knowledge. You have to be a stuff. lot of self. You, have, you need a lot of self confidence. Uh, also, a lot of self confidence. And you need to say bullshit. And so yeah, make them make people think that you actually need those stuff. Otherwise, they will lose you. Mm -hmm. exactly. You have to make them think that they are losing a part of the system. One of the main part of the system. Exactly. Because otherwise. you are the main part of the system. And when you have a lot of knowledge, mm -hmm. you, you fucking use it. Don't, don't be Show like them. don't be like me or like the older me. I'm a really nice person, I can say. I really too like nice. I really yeah, too much too nice that it's like unhealthy. Yeah. I really like to helping people and stuff, but every time I see that then people take advantage of me. Yes. They will be like, "Oh, Miran will will do it." And that's not nice. That's uh, like I like when people like me when they're happy and everything, but mm -hmm. uh, then my my health mm -hmm. will, not, the... uh, will not be happy <laughs> the same as the other people. So guys, the last thing that I want to say, 
you need to respect your idea and make it from the other people respectable you need to be strong in the way you talk in the way you act you need to be sure of yourself also if you are not because in the moment you're gonna show that you're weak people are gonna take advantage of you also if you're doing it for a good reason yeah you need to be gentle to help people to it for to do things for a good reason yes but that doesn't mean to be a pussy yeah exactly and respect yourself respect your body respect your you mind first. respect the thing you do respect everything about you because maybe other people will do it maybe not but you can be sure that you can respect yourself you must yeah so that's everything for the episode number 20 that uh, was more uh, like a, a monologue <laughs> monologue yeah kind of i played the chess game yeah, yeah i see that it was really nice one of so, the best solo game that i ever done in my life so i hope you enjoyed the episode see you in the next one and uh, we are really sorry that we look a bit tired, but... We are. We are. But in this five time hours... We are tired. In five hours, we're not going to be anymore like this, and we're going to start the next day, and we're going to be fast, 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 fast. So, guys, have a nice evening. Thank you so much.